This video is not sponsored and has no adverts. Hello and thanks for joining me for some more landscape photography. Not entirely sure whether this will ever see the light of day because it's a howling gale here on the beach down at Aberfrau. You might have seen from my channel that I haven't been doing much lately uh, and that's because I've got some quite serious issues, family medical challenges to deal with and it's meant that I've done almost no photography over the last probably six to eight weeks I would say. About the only opportunity I get for any sort of recreation is my weekend dog walks and I've tried to keep at that because it's just a little hour of sanity in an otherwise difficult life at the moment. So I'm down at the beach, it's a howling gale, uh, very grey, very rainy. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this camera system works out. I'll try and keep the microphone with my back to the wind. So I bought this new Osmo Pocket 3 uh, about a month ago, it's my first time using it so that'll be interesting. Uh, and as for camera gear, um, I never go out without a camera, so just got my little uh, OM5 on me at the moment. And what I often do with these dog walks is I'll just grab a lens um, and restrict myself to a specific focal length, because as you probably know, I like to shoot primes. Today, I've got the um, Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 with me tried a couple of shots on the way down the estuary of course no tripod and I won't be sort of talking you through any shots at length uh, as I uh, or if I manage to get anything but uh, one of the problems I have is there's always some lovely patterns in the sand but uh, Winnie the Pooch insists on destroying them before I get there very often so that can be a real problem. I'm not sure what photography I'll manage today. If anything uh, does turn out any good, I'll put them up at the end, as is my usual habit. But for now, I'm doing battle with the conditions. It's started raining since I started talking to you. Um, Winnie doesn't care. She's loving it. But uh, yeah, just wanted to update you. So it may be that this is it for this video. But we'll see, there might, I've still got quite a long way to walk all the way down the beach, which is about three quarters of a mile back through the dunes. So you never know, we'll see if anything crops up. I must admit that uh, on a day like this, I wouldn't normally get the camera out of the bag, if I'm honest. The light is as flat as a pancake. And it's, whilst it's blustery, the waves aren't really that impressive. Um, it's a standard neap tide, currently low water. And it's kind of when the waves are at their most unimpressive. The rocks down at the end of the beach is somewhere that I usually spend a few minutes, uh, but I can see from here there's, there's no drama whatsoever to be enjoyed today. So whether or not I do have any photography to share with you at the end, we'll see. Uh, but as I said earlier, I at least wanted to check in with you, let you know what's going on at the moment.
Now, all of that said, I really enjoy these walks. It's the one thing that kind of keeps a bit of consistency in my otherwise rather chaotic life at the moment. Um, so it's literally an hour, maybe two hours a week. And the dog seems to enjoy herself. So that's the main thing. And of course, it gives the lovely Mrs. G a break. But yesterday, the lovely Mrs. G was out at the uh, forest car park at Newborough, walked onto the beach, and she captured this image with her iPhone. And to say that, I was hmm, just a little jealous of not being out in that light with my camera. Bit of an understatement. But to be fair to her, she managed to get the horizon reasonably level, so there is that. Well, now I can talk to you a little bit more easily here. I'm right at the end of the beach in my little rocky refuge. It's about halfway around the walk and I always spend a bit of time sitting here. And when the tide is right, it's also a really good spot for some photography. Um, not today though, of course. So apologies for the earlier camera work because I was trying to walk, I was almost getting blown over. Um, so yeah, not ideal, but I just felt the need to make a video anyway. So you'll just have to put up with that. But if you're new here, that isn't my regular standard of camera work. Honestly, check a few back videos if you don't believe me. I'm not sure about today, there really is nothing doing. I'm not an advocate of taking photographs just for the sake of it. Uh, very often on these walks, I'll do the whole circuit and the camera stays in the bag. Don't even get the, don't even put it on the strap or anything. Um, I have taken a couple this morning, uh, mainly because I'm kind of uh, getting to grips with this lens, which I haven't had very long. Uh, but I think since uh, the last video that I made, I have had one or two half decent results from this particular dog walk. So I'll pad out the gallery at the end with a couple of extras from previous walks. But um, yeah, as I said, uh, I, I suspect that the next few videos may well just be circuits of the estuary and the beach at Aberfrau and back up through the dunes. Um, I always carry my OM5. But uh, I'll just grab a different lens each time, perhaps, uh, a prime lens, that is, and uh, bring them out and see what I can get with them. Uh, I often carry the Leica 9mm uh, or the uh, Leica 25 f1.4, um, which is an absolutely beautiful lens. Uh, and sometimes I uh, carry my 35 to 100 because I haven't got any primes longer than, oh, I've got the 45, Olympus, uh, but those, those are the primes that I mostly use. My Olympus zoom lens is the, uh, what is it, the 12 to 45 f4 and the 40 to 150 f4. I haven't used those hardly at all in the last, I don't know, probably six months even. Um, I'm really enjoying shooting with prime lenses. I like how the lenses render the image. There, there is it's, it's intangible, it's very difficult to explain it, but they are, they are different. Uh, and I, I like, in particular, the 9mm. I think if I, if I was forced, that Panasonic Leica 9mm, if I was forced, I'd have to say that that was probably my favourite lens. Um, but this 15 is a, is a close second. I've got the 14 as well and the Olympus 20 f1.4 Pro. So, uh, yeah, I'll just grab a lens and bring you down the beach with me, but on a better day than this. So I'll leave it there for this one. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, why not subscribe and join me next time? Cheers.